The glare of the spotlight might come from some comic movie villain's eyes. It's so mesmerizing for the deer sprinkled through the fields of southwestern Manitoba. Yeah, eh? Manitoba conservation officer Sean Bobier lights up a few as his truck passes down a dirt road alongside a farm field. Seems fairly sporting. Bobier knows from long experience a blast of light can cut down the odds of shooting an elk, deer, or moose. It definitely is that much easier to hunt if you can drive down roads and shine a light into the eyes of an animal that doesn't run away. Um, you have all kinds of opportunity to, to shoot it. I think that's the biggest draw. The other part of it is if you want to access somebody's private land to hunt, uh, what better time to do it than the middle of the night when there's no one around. So on a Wednesday evening, with the temperature hovering around minus 18, Bobier and several other conservation officers, or COs, have set up a familiar trap to lure poachers and night hunters into firing rounds into the dark. It is an effective method and it's hard to, for anyone to talk their way out that they weren't hunting when they've shot the decoy. The method is a mechanical, life-size decoy deer, complete with telltale eyes that glow in the glare. Settled into a location somewhere on a road near the decoy, Bobier sets his sights on the danger of firing a high-powered rifle in an area where people sleep in their homes and livestock and family pets roam. Safety issue, I think, is, is a real serious issue. There have been at least two deaths in recent years from night hunting, and rural residents have lost cattle and found equipment shot up. The Progressive Conservative government has promised to bring in a ban on night hunting, and Premier Brian Pallister blew up the debate by making a reference to a race war while speaking at a meeting in Verdon last year. Pallister was concerned about the conflict between a ban and Indigenous people's rights to hunt at night on Crown or Reserve land. But Bobier doesn't think the Premier's comments impacted what he does in the field. I think I know what you're getting at there, and it, it really didn't interfere with our work and the relationships that we have. Nor does he think the tension about Indigenous hunting rights affects the work of conservation officers. I think that floats above our levels. That's, uh, you know, when we're dealing with the people we're dealing with, um, we generally don't have any issues. It's, things are generally pretty good. A spokesperson for the Manitoba Assembly of Chiefs says its organization doesn't have a position on night hunting. Bobier says night hunters can be criminal types that sell the meat and engage in other illegal activity or just plain folks. It's everybody, all different segments, whether you have a record, you don't have a record, you don't go to church on Sunday, doesn't matter. But Bobier thinks an outright ban on night hunting would help. You know, I definitely think it would have a bearing on on night hunting and the, the amount of night hunting that goes on. It's turned out to be uh, injured deer, so we went over. Bobier says he and his fellow officers have all the gear they need to make arrests, but admits they could use some more manpower. After hours waiting in the dark and cold with no one taking a shot at their bogus Bambi, the COs decide to call it a night. It wasn't so quiet the night before. Okay, he's good. COs on patrol using spotters in an aircraft cornered a night hunter, but the suspect got away smashing off his driving mirror on Bobier's vehicle in the escape. But the CO isn't intimidated by that or facing people on remote roads who are always armed. No, just cautious. So far, so good anyways. But he admits the job isn't always easy for the dummy deer. It is hard on the decoys. They take a lot for the team, that's for sure. The COs don't make an arrest this night, but they'll be back with their mechanical Bambi and an infinite amount of patience. Here we go. And for the record, the dupe Doe doesn't have a nickname. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> no, but I heard the public has some. Sean Cavanaugh, CBC News, southwestern Manitoba.